a concept of a man talking to animals, you could make this to be a great movie. But does it? Let's find out. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing the reimagining of Doolittle, which stars the likes of Robert Downey Jr., Michael Sheen, Antonio Banderas, and even has the voices of Emma Thompson, Remy Malek, John Cena, Kumal Nanjiani, Octavia Spencer, Tom Holland, Craig Robinson, Ralph Fiennes, Selena Gomez, and... Jesus Christ, I could just keep going on and on with this voice cast because this film has an excellent cast all around it. And yeah, if you don't know about this movie's production issues, there are many. There are so many things that happen behind the scenes in this film that you are just baffled by. Like, I think around a year and a half ago, they had to fire a director, hire a new one, rewrite the whole movie, reshoot half the movie, and now we have the whole thing here. And I think when you hear those elements, you're like, damn, this movie could be a complete disaster. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think it is a complete disaster, but it definitely doesn't hit all the marks to it. Of course, before I get any further into this review, guys, make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button right down there where I do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis. And the best thing about this is I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this movie. Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Have you seen it? Let's discuss it down there. Little, or what was virtually known as The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle, it stars Robert Downey Jr. as the title character, as a man who happens to go on a voyage with his animals and crew trying to find this hidden fruit that could heal the Queen of England. I love that concept, and in general, I like how this is more of a swashbuckling adventure movie for the Doolittle character that we haven't seen before. It's nice when you take an IP and take it and kind of change it up just a bit than doing the typical thing that we've seen before in these iterations of it. And I like that it's going for this high action adventure film with this character, and of course with Robert Downey Jr. and Animals. Who wouldn't like an adventure movie with animals? Certainly, this was kind of right up my alleyway. And like I said, I, I don't think this is a complete disaster. I think it's fine. I think there are good elements to it. And I think the thing that really bothered me the most was the potential for this. You can see the potential in almost every frame of this film. It seeps out and it wants to be there. The greatness, the goodness of any film but it just isn't there. But I do want to give a props to them because they did try. And yes, I gave The Grudge earlier this year a very bad review. And I think many people could look at that and be like, why didn't you see the potential in there? I tried to. I tried to see the potential in any film I go and see. And while The Grudge, I didn't see anything seeping out. Doolittle, I at least saw hopes and glimmers of that, which did make this film not a complete disaster for me. And while I walked out and said, there's some fun elements to be had in here. It's not great. It's not good, but it's fine. And you can walk out and enjoy it for that manner. And of course, the thing I have to state is, this isn't a movie for me. This is a movie for kids. If I was seven years old and I saw this movie for the first time, I would love it. In fact, I would love it so much that I would want someone to buy me this on DVD so I could go home and watch it. And then, of course, as I grow up, I'll rewatch and rewatch and rewatch it and notice it ain't the best, but it'd still be great. And those are some of the movies. There's always movies that when we saw younger, we loved, and now we rewatch and they're not the best. But that's what it is. That's what age does to us. And Doolittle, again, is not for us. It's it's for kids. And I think if you're a family and you're wanting to take your kids to this, you're going to go and see this. You're not going to be like, oh my God, that was terrible. I don't know how I let my kids sit through that. You're going to be able to sit there, watch it, enjoy for what it is, but enjoy your child's reaction. And that's the honest truth to that part. The good things in this movie was Robert Downey Jr. While I do think he was limited by a couple different things that were more of a technical aspect, I thought he was good in it. He brings his charisma and charm to this role that ends up making his character fun and I like his interpretation of the character of Doolittle plus it's just Robert Downey Jr. I, I, I'm I a sucker for him whatever role he's in I can have fun with it because he's so good in his charismatic values that he brings to any movie there's even adding into the voice cast in here all of the voice cast not all of them do like such a stellar job where it stands out to be honest I don't even know which character Tom Holland played but what I will add to it is that the ones that did stick out stuck in my memory which really goes down to Kumal Nanjiani who has done a great job with being able to voice characters and add character to them and within this movie and even Men in Black last year he's doing a great job in that department I would also even add that Octavia Spencer and Emma Thompson did a very nice job in here as well and a lot of people are gonna I, I, I just where was John Cena where was John Cena in here all jokes aside though John Cena actually had a really nice voice cast in here as well and it added character to his character that's what brings a voice cast to life is when you can add character using your voice and i thought those ones stuck out the most to me while again there were some fun swashbuckling adventures in here and some of the comedy hits 
there was one moment in particular where I was like, this movie could be great. And it was the intro to this movie. It opened up with this fabulous exposition of animation for what they were doing to do a little character. And I was fascinated by it. And then the movie started going about and the kooky cartoon comedy elements started pumping out. And again, not my type of humor. I smiled at some, but there were a couple in between where I was like, that is low hanging fruit kind of joke right there to laugh at. And it's not for me. For kids, yeah, but not for me in that part. In fact, it's not a spoiler to say this, but they're in the trailers, you see a dragon. Well, that dragon in particular, Doolittle must perceive something about the dragon, and it happens to do with its butt. I'll leave it there. It might intrigue you to see what happens, but I'll tell you this. I was sitting there really much cringing at those aspects of what was going on inside the scene. It's humor like that that did take me out of place inside this movie. Again, some of the adventure elements are really fun. Seeing this voyage with Doolittle and his animals are a lot of fun. And I think one of the things that did stick out to me the most was the concept of this. Again, I've already talked about how much potential it could have had, but I think it was good for the idea, everything about it. And I, again, I want to give major props because I thought it was a good concept. I just didn't think it worked all in its rights. Besides those elements that I was talking about, the couple things that actually limit this film and really were the heavy limitations of this movie was anything on a technical aspect. Like I already mentioned, those might be the elements that I kind of was good on. The elements that really short-sighted this whole movie was all the technical and story limitations that this movie brings about. There were actually many moments in particular where I, I surely guaranteed this movie was supposed to be longer. It's only an hour and 36 minutes but it didn't feel that way in fact it felt way shorter than it should have been and i feel like there were many story elements missing completely in this movie there was a lot of exposition and weird scenes where you could totally tell where like they were able to get this voice actress in to do this exposition to do this narrating so it knows where we were at and it kind of lacked in all those departments and lacked in story building and lacked in character building for certain arcs that were happening to go throughout the movie Bad story elements lead to bad pacing and then bad editing and all those kind of elements kind of lead back to the limitations of not just the story, but also the technical limitations. There are a couple wonky CGI moments, not all the CGI, some of the CGI was decent, but some of it was very wonky and I don't know what they they were doing with it. It, it, it kind of seems like th that Universal just gave up giving them money for this movie because the budget for this movie is skyrocketed after the whole reshoots and rewrites and that kind of just sucks in all those departments. It feels like this movie was needing a little bit more to it. And I'll even add in there one thing that particularly was weird to me was Robert Downey Jr.'s accent. Not the way that he was doing it, but the ADR for it seemed very off in a couple scenes. Not all of them, but a couple. And once I picked on it once, I kept pulling at that string and seeing it at multiple other different scenes and it just seemed like they had a hard time lining up his voice to his lips with inside the movie. All right, give you guys my final thoughts on Doolittle. Make sure again to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe when I'm ready to do tons of early movie reviews like this on a daily basis. And of course, if you guys want to check out movies early as well, make sure to head over to Sandwich on Films as well down below because we do tons of content like this on a daily basis. And of course, just a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Doolittle is not the giant disaster that headlines would want us to believe. It's fine. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not good. It's not even okay. It's just fine. It's, it's here. I didn't waste my time watching this movie. I didn't walk out feeling pissed off that I saw it. Robert Downey Jr. brings his charismatic moments to this movie. And him as Doolittle is great casting. It just was limited from all the short sights of a technical aspect and a story editing and pacing wise that really limit this film completely. Some of the humor in here are very much just for kids. This is a kid's movie. They're going to enjoy it. For me, I thought it was fine. The voice cast is good at some points, especially with Kamal Nanjiani really bringing the gravitas and same with Emma Thompson. But when it comes down to Doolittle, I walked out just going, that was a fun little adventure movie. That was okay. It was fine. It was whatever. I don't, I don't ever need to see it again. It's hard for me to recommend it. I think if you are a family and you're needing to take your kids to something and you guys love going to the movies, you guys will have fun with this. It's a nice one-time watch. You're going to walk out saying, hey, that was fine. There's some good comedic beats and their kids will laugh. They're not going to pay attention to the wonky CGI, the terrible pacing of the story, or even the technical limitations that this movie might bring about. They're going to have fun. They're going to see Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man himself, playing Doolittle. I, I love the concept. It, there was potential. It just didn't nail it on the head. So with all that said, I'm going to give Doolittle a C-. Let me know your guys' thoughts are on this movie. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's discuss it down below, guys. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. So make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And of course, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on content like here on a daily basis. So of course, until next time, stay classy.